Show equals two ginger ales. <laughs> okay, open your phone up for me. Now it's time. You know what? I want my Lake County koozie. Hey, gum wrapper, keep it down. <laughs> Patiently, hello. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> What's up, Mike C? Oh, Matt kid. It's perfectly safe. Look. Perfectly okay, safe. Back. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to uh, episode one of my. I said it before of a solo show, but it's not really solo because I have all the boys and girls out there watching. That eventually I'm gonna be talking to a bunch of them live on the show. So, um, welcome to episode one of the RC Shark Frenzy, um, and it's going to be a new show with a new format. Hopefully, I was hoping to have a new studio, but I had to get the show going. Um, and I want to uh, have a show that's based on um, talking to other racers throughout the United States and possibly overseas, see what they're doing, see what they're running, maybe help them out with their problems. Maybe they got some new stuff that, you know, uh, will help us out. Um, but either way, I want to I want to create like a, a, an on air uh just a united, uh, a united assembly of the uh, the RC community with all this NPRC stuff. So um, I think it'll be kind of a cool format. Maybe I'm not explaining it very well. Um, I want to give a bunch of shout outs first. Um, I want to do a bunch of shout outs uh, really quickly. We got kind of a time schedule tonight. Um, helping me for the first time doing any show, let alone I think a show period, is my beautiful 19 year old daughter from Arizona. Um, that she's up for the holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Um, and I have uh, my little seven-year-old, uh, Emma. A lot of you guys know her. Um, just to let everybody know, this and future um, filmings will all be available um, on uh, uh, Funky Monkey, our, our YouTube site. Um, the, the posting is up. Um, and uh, you can you can scroll down a little bit. I'll post it again after the show so people can get there and subscribe. Um, which kind of sends me to, to, to one of my first shout outs, you know, along with a bunch of other stuff unexpectedly with the group of people I had something going with. Um, I was shut out of a bunch of different things and one guy all on his own. Um, a guy named Dennis, uh, Dennis Coleman. Um, Dennis reached out to me a couple weeks ago. We talked for a couple minutes through, uh, through chat 
And uh, he's like, you know, man, he's like, I, I, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about what had happened and this and that. And he's like, look, man, I, you have absolutely no access to doing, you know, 80 hours worth of film, whether it was with somebody else or not. I mean, you should have access to that. And I said, well, it is what it is. And he says, no, 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 no. So this gentleman has ripped the 30 different episodes that I worked on from day one with uh, the old group of guys that I was with and everything will be available on my site as well. Um, that'll be coming shortly in the next week or so. So I want to give a shout out to, uh, to Dennis Coleman for doing that for me. Um, I want to give a shout out as always to my boy, Paul Peterson, P Paul Peterson, uh, owner of shark RC, um, bodies, uh, got a bunch of new stuff coming. Um, you guys know what we do. Um, I have been, uh, we, we were trying to put together a little bit more professional of a, of a, of a platform for um, the, the, the company itself to evolve into something bigger. Um, and so, you know, Paul has talked to me and thought that I'd be a, a great team manager for my Shark team members, my other sponsees across the United States. Uh, and I want to help these guys grow in the industry and always be as fast as they can uh, and get lots of feedback from them from what they're doing in their races and stuff. So we'll get to that at another show. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Milo Carvalho of Flash Packs Cat Packs. If you don't have a cat pack, you need a cat pack, and we got a cat pack and want to change it, you want to get over to Flash Packs and talk to Milo and get yourself a cat pack. Um, I want to be a big shout out to Troy at Vanishing Point, which we'll get here to in a minute. Um, Ramez of uh, our designs um, have only talked to the guy a couple times. He's got his, you know, great products. Um, talked to him uh, a couple weeks ago when I first got my, my our designs mount. Um, I just wanted to give him a shout out because he just seemed like a really uh, straightforward cat. So um, my next one is going to be John, John Nicholson. So where's that bottle? Is it over there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me for a second. I'll get it. It's easier for me to get it. Uh, no, it's not. The little black one that I have you move like nine times. No, just I just moved it over there. It is not there. I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear. Oh, I don't know where it is. So anyway, if you if anybody's looking for some, um, is it in the, in the kitchen at all? Right there. Maybe I grab it. No, I don't know. Um, Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. Josh Nicholson, a gentleman, reached out. Uh, he's a friend of a, another guy named Remy that I know. Um, and he uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, I got some tire tonic that's not really illegal. It's just a, a different way to do something on your tires. And um, I have I have some tires here. These are some DEs uh, that are that have his stuff on it. I mean, it's it doesn't leave anything in your hand, and these tires are just, I mean, I've never felt a set of DEs that were that, were that sticky, you know? They're pretty sticky, so um, and there's it, it. It doesn't leave anything on paper. It doesn't leave anything on your hand. Um, I know there's going to be some. Um, there's going to be tire prepping in Vegas, um, and I'll be bringing my own stuff. And no matter, you can guarantee that whatever I'm using um, is going to be within whatever the uh, the rules are for uh, for King of the Streets. Um, and uh, so I want to give a shout out to Josh. Like I said, if you want to try something new on your tires, uh, shoot on over and see Josh Nicholson. Um, just his private Facebook page. He makes his stuff in his garage. It's really good stuff. So I didn't even ask. I tried it. I'm like, you know, I don't care what's in it. Just send me some more. So anyway, um, tonight, I'm not even, I'm not even looking at these. It's, uh, it's weird to be back on camera, guys, you know, um, and... I won't even go to that. So you might be wondering, um, most of you have been able to figure it out uh, by now. I'm really mad that that bottle was sitting here the whole time and I asked you to move it and now it's just gone. I watched you put it up there. So I thought yeah. maybe it fell down or maybe yeah, it's, I hope it it's not in the dryer. Disappeared. No, it's not in the dryer. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it's here it though. Looks, I know it's yeah, here because I just yeah. used it an hour ago. But anyway, um, and Paul is on. What's up, Paul? What's up, Sean? What's up, Jake? Jake Rosen, a uh, big shout out. Jake's Performance Hobbies, Runner Park, California, 707 586 3375. They ship to the lower 48. They got a lot of stuff in stock. So, um, 
he's always a good way to, uh, and, and I like to support my, you know, I've always said this, everybody knows that I like to, to support my local shop. So, and Jake's my local shop. So I go in and support him as much as I can. Um, Mike C, what's up, Mike C? Mike C uh, was one of the guys that helped put this together. Uh, in the fact that I had something that is out of stock still, it's still on back order for another month or so. And, um, and Mike C reached out to me and said, Hey, I have one of those. And he wasn't looking to turn a buck. He just, uh, he, he paid or he maybe he charged me a regular price for it. And I, I paid him still handsomely and he sent them out to me and boom, the car was done 24 hours later. So some of you probably already know. Some of you, for those of you who don't know why there's bullets laying all over the, all over the ground, because tonight's first show, move all these 308s out of the way, is going to be showcasing Mark Vine's bullet chassis. So I have something in store for you guys. I have something really in store for you tonight. We have the man himself at 5.30 going to be calling in. Uh, my daughter's going to accept it. He's going to be live on the chat with us. Um, mine might be a little bit delayed because I'm over here and she's over there. Uh, but the the uh, the designer, engineer, and, and builder, um, along with his brother, um, Mr. Mark Vine from Arizona, is going to be chiming in. And we're going to have a little rap session about this craze about the bullet chassis. So... This is my car. This is my Vegas car. This is the car that will that I'm going to Vegas in. Um, full R1 gear. Not going to tell you until after Vegas what's inside of it, but man, has it got a lot of ponies. And it is a Team Losi 5.0 Elite. Um, and these cars aren't like throwing all your Traxxas parts on a chassis and going out and it's got the same tune and everything. This is a really, really custom car. These are very, very, um, you have to be very meticulous putting these together. Um, and it takes a lot of time. I probably have up to this point about 20 hours into this thing already. And, uh, and she's a bad, you know what? Um, so for the people that are looking for these cars that maybe want to, um, that maybe don't be like, man, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of, you know, this and that, and a lot of hassle. You, there is a way in this very, very um, short future from now that there is a place down in Arizona called Desert Hobbies. And Desert Hobbies is uh, going to, um, hey, pull my pull down down and see if, uh, right here on the screen, <laughs> and see if Mark Vine uh, texted me. He's going to text me the, the phone number for him. But Desert Hobbies in Arizona uh, is going to be offering several different versions of this car. You can just call them. They're built to order, I believe. Um, and uh, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to supply their donor buggy or just have their own parts or what they're going to do. But they're going to offer this car in a slider with nothing, no wheels, no tires, no electronics. They're going to offer it as a roller with wheels and tires. Um, and from what I hear, they will even have a full-blown model where I think that they might even wire everything up for you. I don't know. We'll ask Mark uh, more about it. He's the kind of the creator of it. But if you don't really want to or you don't have the time to, uh, you know, that's a lot of time, 20 hours into, into putting a remote control. And now it's to the point to where I can go spend another probably another 10 or 20 uh, tuning the thing and getting it perfect. But the car as of right now, uh, the Corleone, um, is done and this is why I have bullets all over the live ammunition all over the table um, so if you could uh, Let's see. Let's see what time it is right now. It's only 514. Let's go through some of these uh, Alfredo they want to see your sweater they want to see my sweater. Yeah, someone said you're wearing oh. pajamas No, it's I'm not wearing pajamas. my shake and bake First you got to shake them First you got to shake them and then we bake them. <laughs> <laughs> nice sweater, dude. What's up, Dennis and uh, Alfredo and Kevin, Charlie, Ricky Eckers, Ellie, Victor, Paul, as always. Paul, what's up, baby? Um, Tyler and Ken and Tony. Um... 
so anyway um as you can see i got a, i got an r1 um digital three in this bad boy um i have an r1 um r1 motor works motor in it i'm not going to disclose what it is right now um, I have a big battery in it. Um, I have a little shorty high speed dual ball bearing um, Coreless uh, micro servo in it. Um, it's you know, the car is just I mean, there's just no play in anything um, It has just been built to the hilt um, And like I said, you know for one gear that's in the transmission that that held me up for um, Almost a month just trying I, I ordered one back on December 1st. It never showed up. I don't know what happened um, I still haven't seen it, and I've already gotten these ones from Mike C and, and put the car together. So, um, I'm not wearing pajamas. I'm wearing I'm wearing shorts. I have shoes and socks on. Look, the whole nine He's yards. Fit. <laughs> yeah. So, um, another uh, another shot I want to do is you know I I have with the old show. I don't know how much that it mattered to anybody else uh on the show but it meant a lot to me anytime would anybody would just on their oh out of their own kindness their own heart just send us something or a um like uh my buddy remy sent me one a couple sheriff's patches from where he where he works over on the other on the east coast um we've had a lot of people reach out to us the letters from saint jude's that we got back um after race wars and all this stuff i have stacked up i keep it i think it's really cool um this is another one um this is from a guy named uh dj uh Men mendiola and uh he is with uh much more racing and he says here you go thank you for everything you do for the hobby test this motor let me know how it goes so he sent me a, i believe it's a three five and we'll be putting that on the dyno um i'm gonna i'm gonna this is a much more product um i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be dynoing it for him uh and doing a couple other tests and then all the all the data that i log if somebody's gonna send something i'm not gonna hide anything from them to let them know exactly what their product does um and you know, I'll give him my, my truthful feedback on the product. Um, and then we'll either either send it back to him or, or raffle it off, whatever he wants. Um, but it's, it's uh, or run it. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I've already come out and said that I'm strictly R1. But that being said, I have no problem giving my professional input on other products, considering that I've seen up, down, left, and right, and everything in between. So um, with that being said... Yeah, the, the the much more guys are are out of the uh, three six zero, and uh, that's Team Reckless. Um, so I want to give those guys a big shout out. They seem like a, a group of nice guys. I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody that's watching, um, I believe the Team Reckless is out of uh, the West Coast, up in Washington or something like that. I want to say, um, if someone could chime in and, and let me know um, what's what's going on. Yeah, so um, I got a I got a, a flash pack cap pack on board. Um, I got a little tight for room in it, and I ended up mounting my my servo or my receiver up here, um, which actually turned out really nice. You can see the wiring is is pretty top notch on this thing. So it's about as neat as this thing was getting. But she's, uh, I mean, just. A lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of trick stuff went into this car. So, um, so one of the guys I was talking about earlier, which was Troy from Vanishing Point. Troy makes these uh, these wheelie bars, and you know when I first uh, that wheel doesn't look good. Um, I by all no means wanted to uh, copycat what what Mark Vine was doing, but I knew that he was onto something, and one of the uh, things that I'm very grateful that Mark Vine did was he was at least able to help me minimally with the um, picking the right parts to complete at least the basic chassis before it's set up and stuff. Um, and that brings me over to the R Designs and to um, to Troy's company, Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point makes these wheelie bars. They're carbon fiber. They're ultra lightweight. They use custom work shocks on them. They're fully adjustable. I mean, these these uh, these wheelie bars are really, really nice. And there's a lot of wheelie bar companies out there that are nice on the market. You know, RCRI, one of them, they make a great wheelie bar. Jake's Performance Hobbies. Um, what do we got until 530? I'm asking you what time it is. Oh, oh 520. We're good. We got 10 minutes. 
Um, so a lot of companies, Jake's order, I mean, Jake's uh, Performance Hobbies in Roner Park um, offers, a, offers a nice carbon fiber bar. Um, this is the one that Mark felt for, the, for his chassis, and he's the chassis builder um, that he wanted to go with. So I figured I'd give that a whirl the first time around, and, and I, I, I'm really glad that I did. These, these bars, they just they work really, really good um, with this chassis. And the assembly that they're on, and and, and the, the the donor car that that, that backed the the build. Um, so I want to give a big shout out to Vanishing Point. Vanishing Point makes some nice stuff. So um, let's see what else we got here. Vancouver, Washington. So I was right. Okay, um, that's Team Reckless, the three six zero. I need some three zero eight. Yes, sorry guys. Um, yeah, so while we wait a minute, let me get some of these live rounds out of here. No, it looks cool. Yeah, no, I know. No. They're live rounds, though. Thanks. You can just zoom that in on some. Give me just a minute, guys. And we're going to get Mark Vine to chime in here. And we're going to find out about Nine. everything Mark Vine has done to get to this point where he wants to go from here. Um, I know Mark Vine, a guy who's testing just about every stuff, everybody's stuff on the market right now. Um... And this whole thing with Desert Hobbies, this whole thing with Desert Hobbies could uh, could get big for him. This is a really good product. I'm really, really happy to be to be on board with it. I buy bullets and bullets and bolt. Nah, you got to be easy with them, Elizabeth. I don't want to. Why don't you just let me do it, please? Mm. Thank you. I'm helping. I'm gonna help. Really? Okay, okay, we're almost there. Um, Look what I found. As soon as I put these in the boxes, I'm gonna go ahead and give Mark Vine, which I believe raced at Desert Hobbies today, and won a cash days um, with the bullet chassis. I don't know if it was the AE version or the low C version. Oh, okay. He's trying to chime in. Yeah, Mark, if if you're uh, we're ta we're we're filming off of my. No button to join. No button to join. See if you can find it right there. Him. Right here. It's like a green. This one? Yeah, it's like a double. This one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Hold on a minute, Mark. Oh my gosh. Hold on a minute. There he is, right there. Hey, Mark. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. I think it's working. Um, oh, there you go. Okay, now... The reason why we couldn't pick up was because you called my phone and she's filming on our phone. And no, it was really easy to figure out how to add you. Um, so let's introduce Mark Vine. Mark Vine is the um, uh, the creator, the mastermind behind this bullet chassis. Um, how you doing tonight, Mark? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? Pretty good. So I was just letting them know. Um, can you turn the volume up a little bit? I think it's a little yeah. low. Let me let me close the door real quick. Hang on one sec. Okay. Or you can turn up the volume on the iPad. 
All right. Okay. Good to go. So you and your brother created this chassis, I believe. Uh, sorry about that. Um, about a year ago, correct? You created the chassis? Yeah, yeah. We've had a couple different versions of it. Um, one of the more uh, known ones was Swiss, which was a little bit lighter. Uh, okay. But yeah, we've been running it about a year in, in a couple different forms. And uh, once we, once the rules kind of calmed down with the weight and stuff, and we figured the right, uh, the right design for the weight, then we put it out to the public. I want to ask you a question that I wanted to know, but I kind of wanted to save it for the show. So here we go. <laughs> but um, up until the point to where you had this 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 uh, this scheme going on in your head to to build uh, the next one of the next level chassis, what chassis were you running up to that point? Because I know you've been in drag racing for a while now. Yeah. Um, so before the bullet, I ran just a uh, TLR 4.0. Uh, with a short course chassis, and actually okay. that car, that car is now my thirteen five car. Oh, you still have it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and what's what is what is some of the reasons that inspired you to make this chassis? Was it to be lighter? Was it just to be carbon fiber? Was it to have different handling characteristics, or all of the above? Um, originally, we made it uh, because the the. The geometry is is kind of off road based, right? So when we yep. looked at the car, we're like, man, we can I think we can do a little bit better. And at the time, there was no uh, weight minimum, so we're like, man, let's uh, let's make something super light and uh, change the geometry a little bit to accommodate drag racing a little better uh, and see if we can make a difference. And uh, yeah, that's what we that's what we ended up with. Well, so the front I'm is, blown uh, away. You know, a little, a little uh, different. Like the front is. Oh, go ahead. No, you know, you go ahead. The front, uh, one of the main uh, changes in the geometry is the front, where we have a flat front. And uh, I have a I have a good friend, uh, Eric, Eric Dink, that uh, helped me with on-road racing when I didn't know a whole lot. And we were changing the kick in an on-road car, and it, you know, took massive steering away, or we added steering. So we thought, you know, I, I want a car that doesn't have a lot of steering. So we took all the kick out of it. It makes the design a lot simpler. Um, and it makes a car that that's a little easier to handle down the, the track because it doesn't have i don't want a car that hooks or loops if you steer it so this causes a little bit of a push that combined with a tire that uh, i run like the least grippy tire i possibly can so the car pushes if you steer it and it's it's steerable under power which is nice i i get the whole taking the caster out of it um due to the fact that back when I was building road race cars, you know, my, my, you know, the 76 year old man that's been racing for 50 years used to always tell me, let's get those struts or those shocks or those pivot pins, you know, leaned back as far as we can, the better the caster, the better the car is going to handle. Yeah. So and we, I, if I'm, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what we're trying to eliminate. This thing doesn't need to go through a chicane at 70 miles an hour. It's not a road race car. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. So yeah, I want, I want no steering. So I, I, I run very little radius in my steering. I run, very uh, hard front tires and the no kick in the front kind of simplifies the front end and uh, serves a purpose to not have a lot of steering. Okay. And um, how did you first come across uh, Vanishing Points products and, and want to imply that on the, on the, on the chassis themselves? That, that's a good question. That's a, that's a good story. So uh, Troy, Stacy um, reached out to me, I'd say nine months ago and said, Hey, I really want you to, check out my car um and i had a friend of mine uh kelly ray that runs the slash version of his car uh he makes a the so troy makes the vanishing point pro car and he has the shock absorb wheelie bar and when i first saw it i'm like man it's adding weight i was super you know weight critical uh so i'm like well you know i'll, I'll give it a shot so he actually uh you know nice guy he sent me a full car and had me test it and uh, I really like the stability of that wheelie bar. So uh, we talked about how to get it on the bullet chassis when it was going to be produced. And I wanted that stability that he had. And uh, I continue to have him build. It's his design in the wheelie bar. And I respect that. I continue to have him produce the wheelie bar for me um, because he had a great idea with the shock absorber. So uh, we've, we've been a good 
a good team to make a, a chassis and a wheelie bar that that makes the bullet work. Uh, yeah, he has a he has a good good product. It's the best wheelie bar that I think is made right now. It 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 is a really really nice product, and that was what you know. I like I I. I I ordered mine and I first got it and I put it together and I was just, I was like, you know what? Mark was right. This is a really good product. So it, it's, it's, it's made with the right stuff. It's um, it's, you know, it's got high quality parts everywhere. It's got the, you know, the Traxxas wheelie bars that are, are uh, wheels that I like the the Traxxas wheelie bar wheels. Yeah. Um, they kind that, of grippy, right? they, What's they grip that? real good. Yeah. So you get some grip on the back, like the wheelie bar it, when the car is tuned, right? Like I have a body with a lot of downforce. So it, it catches the car and doesn't really unload the car out of the, off the line. You know, even I, I run my wheelie bar a couple millimeters off the ground. It's very close to the ground. So it pretty much instantly hits the ground when you hit the throttle. And then, uh, so it, it, it's, it's a cushion when you launch, but then halfway down the track, when the body starts making some downforce, all six tires are forced on the ground and you get this two foot long car, like a train that is super yeah. stable. So, you know, he talked about that idea, and I'm like, eh, whatever, you know, and I'm running little tiny wheelie bars and stuff. But after I ran his car for a little while, he was right. I mean, it makes makes a really stable car. Well, I, I got this one together Thursday night. The car was completely assembled, and I spent all day yesterday uh, wiring it very meticulously. Um, and I went out inside like any other RC enthusiast would and kind of gave it a little blip blip. And she's got some tuning to do to get her to get her <laughs> to, to to be able to give her even 10 percent thrall. She's she's a wild animal right now. So um, after a, a week or two of taming and maybe a little bit of insight from Mark's own chassis design here, um, hopefully this, too, will be a freight train. <laughs> so this is the yeah, we'll get that thing going in no time. I got that. We got a, I got a good starting point, right, when we. When you get get ready to start running that, I can get you a starting point to get it at least off and roll, and then uh, you can work your. That sounds good that. to me. So somebody was asking, "What donor car was this?" And it's really important to, especially if you're out there spreading the word about the bullet chassis at all, or it's something that you think you might want to be into, um, is, is take a look at this. This is the Losi's um, latest greatest thing. This is the Elite 5.0 from Losi, the, the Losi 22. Um, I believe that this will also work with the 4.0. And then he also, the chassis is also adaptable to an associated, an, H, an AE chassis. Now, you're going to have to uh, remind me, Mark, um, am I correct about the 4.0 low C? And what models of the associated car are built to, to, to jive with this thing right now? Okay, so right now in, in the TLR, the, uh, the bull pattern is good for the 3.0, the 4.0, and the 5.0 car. Uh, okay. The the two O is kind of a popular car, but the bolt pattern is completely different, so that one will not work. Uh, so the gearboxes that will fit, you can run a three gear stand up, you can run a three gear lay down, like what comes in your kit, and you can also run a four gear uh, stand up with that bolt okay. pattern in the chassis for two. So a lot of versatility in this chassis. Yeah. Then the the associated side, uh, we made the bolt pattern for B five M the B5M box, but if you run a B5M donor car, you got to change the rack to a B6 series rack. And then it also fits okay. any B6 model. So it's 60, 61, 62, uh, all fit. And the B5M, the reason why we did that on the associated side is there's there's really high end gearboxes that are B5 bolt patterns. So we wanted to accommodate the guys that have the MIP or the, the uh, uh there's a couple of like aluminum case really high-end boxes that people people like so we wanted to accommodate that box in the associated chassis so you should be able to run pretty much any any valid you know uh mid-motor uh recent year associated car okay and i've seen a lot of the associated guys building the associated bullets on uh, the Bullet Experience, hop on over to Facebook, The Bullet Experience, and that's kind of the Mark's uh, uh, Facebook page for this whole whole uh, kit and caboodle. Um, and I've seen a bunch of the associated cars, and they are just as every bit as enthralling as this one is. I mean, you, when I when I look at this car, it is not an RC. I mean, this, this is not an RC car anymore. This is a race car. This was, this was, you know, I got 20 hours into this thing. It is cocked and loaded, and I guarantee you where I'm aiming it. So um, if you guys have been let's say you run a slasher you have a dr10 or something, 
you really, really want to build one of these high-end cars. Um, like Mark said, there's so much versatility with this chassis. If you've got an old buggy laying around uh, that's a B5 or a B6 and you want to do an associated build, or I didn't even know it went back to 3.0. you got the 3.0, the 4.0, the 5.0 bullet chassis. So you can take the last 10 years or more, I don't know, I'm not a complete buggy expert, um, worth of AE or low C chassis off of your shelf that's just collecting dust and build one of these cars and be competitive with it. Um, so with that being said, tell me really quick a little bit about the deal you want to get going with Desert Hobbies, uh, yeah. what that will entail, um, what will be available. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. They ran their first... Uh... The first race today it's desert hobbies and chandler and uh i've been talking with them over the past few weeks and they're really excited they're kind of a uh a shop that really wants to get into drag racing uh the the owner and and the, the guy that works our drill is is really really nice guys uh very intelligent guys on rc have a good history with it and they're very interested in getting in drag racing so they contacted me I went down there, uh, told them what I was doing, and they ended up purchasing a full tree. Uh, they ran their first race today. It was an awesome day. Went out, it, the good big crowd, they had food. Um, very impressed with the race today. It's kind of a test and tune that turned into a small cash race. Uh, nice. But the the deal and what happened? Uh, what what happened during that that the end of that cash race, Mark? Uh, I did pretty good in that cash day today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would um, say he said, he, what's that? No, I, I, uh, there was some good, there was some, Jeff McDowell gave me a good run and there was some Abel Lips was there and, and, uh, Frank Greer, who's my teammate is always really fast. So, um, there was a good group real fast people. Kelly Ray was there and, and, you know, a couple of the team Arizona people, Kelly and, uh, and, uh, Chris were there with me. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, there was some, some of the faster guys for sure. And I, I got lucky enough to. To take home the win today, so that was cool. Um, it's always nice to take. Congratulations! Home. Thank you. Tell um, us, do they have any kids there? What's that? Do they have any kids out there running the cars? I think there was a couple. I was uh, I was kind of uh, in my pit for most of the day, but I know there was a few kids running around. Um, and always, you know, the kids are the kids are always welcome, right? It's cool to watch the kids run down the track. Hey, like I've said a million times, man, the kids are the future. They were when we were kids. We were the future of this sport. Um, if you guys can't get the kids into it in an easy fashion, in a cheap fashion that's fun for them and keeps it fun to get them on the hook, um, then they're going to lose interest in it and they're going to, you know, it's going to dwindle. So if we want to keep the RC going for years to come, we always, always got to include the kids in the stuff. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of people know my little pro racer here, Emma pretty much used to you know all all she did was win 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 <laughs> uh and and she she took a couple losses and she learned from it and she came back always stronger and even at seven years old she's already taking you know uh, or learning what it takes to to race so uh nice. tell us what what will the desert actually do you have the phone number for desert hobbies or any kind of contact info you want to throw out on the show i can't I, I i'll look it up uh after i after i give this description here but um i just got home from racing and walked in the door so i'm, I'm kind of unprepared but i'll before the end of the show i'll have all the information for us not a problem mark so um, what, they're gonna, what they're gonna do um what i'm really excited about is i can't keep up with the requests for building cars and uh i i'd love to build but there's just there's too much in trying to do mm -hmm. uh the dr 10 and the slash cars and then people that want to build as you know it takes a lot of time to build these so desert hobbies has reached out and are going to source the parts that are needed to build the associated and low c car they're adding uh the information to their website and you'll be able to contact them or go on their website and build either a uh, slider car like an option one will be just a uh you choose an ae or a low c car and they will assemble it for you to a spec that uh, that I've kind of decided is the best um, uh, standard standard start out like uh, setup, right? So the car is going to work pretty good. Shock oils and things are all be all be set up on that car. And if you want to take it a step further, you can have uh, electronics put in the car, so you can choose your motor, your ESC uh, servo, and they'll assemble that and put it in there for you. 
And then the last option is going to be a full turnkey car if you wanted a body on it, wheels and tires, uh, radio, right? And we'll we'll get the car uh, as turnkey as as possible. There's always tuning involved in any road you go down. You know, it's not the you're not going to just set it down and it's going to go 210 or something, right? I mean, there's there's definitely work involved, but at least everything will be functional. It'll have a base tune in it, um, and it's a way for me to get in a in a very timely manner and a good price pe to people that want to have more than just a chassis and have some assembly help. So uh, I'm really excited for that. We, we're kind of going through what option to offer and the, the pricing for how much the builds are going to be. Uh, but the nice thing is they can source parts much cheaper than I can. Uh, I'm not a hobby shop, so they can do more volume than I can. They can better, get better pricing. Everybody wins because they get involved with drag racing. Uh, I get chassis out there to people that want them, and the end customer gets uh, a built car that built by people that know what they're doing. So uh, very, very excited for that situation. And, and that option is going to happen, I'm hoping, within the next week or less. Uh, we're very close. They have a lot of the parts already in, so we're going to start taking orders really soon. Well, that sounds really exciting, Mark, and I know that that's going to free up a lot of time for you to do what is being asked of you out in the airwaves right now. Now, in the last 24, 48 hours, I've seen one guy, or actually this one, two or three different guys, you know, asking about the slash made stuff, and then, you know, somebody's like, hey, what's the DR10 stuff, and, and, and I, I get it. You're already, you know, you've been in back order, and now you've gotten your material, and you're trying to catch up and, you know, play catch up with all your orders it's hard to design something while you're doing that, you know? So I'm hoping that this will free you up. And, and, and if there's any help, I can do it all um, to help free it up and choose. So you can, you and your brother can start designing, you know, the other chassis and the other chassis kits to get them out there for some of what um, for, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'd like to say, add to that too, is that, you know, we, the, I've been, I've ran the car, the bullet car for a good nine months before we ever sold it to the public to make sure that it was the best that I could get it right. And the, the flex is right. And, you know, it might look like a, a flat piece of carbon, but there's a lot of design in that to make sure that it, it works good. And, and one of the reasons why it is a successful car is because of the R and D put in, in the upfront portion of it. So the same thing, I, we want to follow suit with the same thing with the DR 10 and the slash and not just put out a car and have issues with it. I want to make sure that it's the best that we can get before we, we offer it to the public. Um, so that we have the same result, right? Everybody has a fast car and, and, and it's a, it's a good end result. I don't want to have to be redoing something because we didn't test long enough. So it just, it takes time. I mean, it, it, it takes a long time to do that. The, uh, my daughter's like, Hey, look up. And I'm like, <laughs> well, see your face is over here on the table. <laughs> but I can hear you up there. So as much as I want to look at you down here, this over here is real time because I can hear you talking. And this has got like 45 seconds of lag time. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, my eyes were playing a uh, uh, who should I look at thing, you know. <laughs> um, Mark, is there anything else that you want to put out there on the airwaves um, that is going to be available uh, through the Bullet Experience um, or you know anything like that? I know you're going to Vegas. Um, we're all we're all prepping for Vegas right now. Um, but aside from that, is there anything that that, that you think we've missed tonight? Um, I think we're going to have a, a few options. Um, we're working on some some brass pieces that can be added to the to the car, like a front bulkhead for both the AE and low C. Uh, normally, okay. add a little bit of weight to the front, so this will allow. Uh, so you don't have to have, you know, a piece of brass on the front. It's actually going to be, I think it's going to be between us 70 to hundred grams adder on the front for a brass piece. Uh, okay. I've seen some people make some really cool, uh, servo mounts. So, uh, uh that's one thing that's kind of neat about the chassis is it's just kind of the platform to have people think about, you know, what wheelie bar do I want or what servo mount or how do I want to mount my, my electronics. So it gives people a lot of freedom to, to put their own touch on it. Right. So. Um, really the only thing I think I have coming that really soon are more chassis and some brass pieces to add weight where we want. I, we have a, a hub design also that, uh, raises the hub, uh, the, the stock hub, like for the, it's for Losi right now, if it works, we're going to do associated. Um, it, the stock hub goes, I think to plus three and a half. So this one starts at plus four and goes to plus seven and a half. Oh wow! Uh, so if you're if you're gonna raise the box, we're messing around with different tunes, and 
one of the things we're messing with is raising the gearbox up. Uh, not not the CMD block, but just the gearbox and leave the suspension where it's at. So it raises, uh, and when you do that, you want to raise the hub also. So we have hubs made and we're testing that. And if it if there's a value to it, if there's a benefit, then we're going to offer those hubs. And we're also going to offer standard and raised hubs like that in brass. So okay. uh, we have those modeled already, but I don't want to put something out until I, I know it works, right? I, I, haven't, I haven't been yeah, able yeah, to, totally. to go any faster than what I can go with just the stock stuff. So we're messing yeah. with, that, with that stuff. And uh, I know there's going to be a, uh, the rule change for the wheelie bar is going to be 15 inch for 2021. So there's a longer wheelie bar. I know, I know uh, Vanishing Point's working on some sides that are longer. Um, I'm running some prototype sides on mine. It's the same hardware. It's just different carbon pieces. Uh, so that's going to be in the near future too, to run. It's about a three inch longer wheelie bar. Uh, I think that's about it. And then, uh, yeah, I'm a hundred percent. I'll have to talk to Troy. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, I, I made kind of some prototype ones and I, I was at a race with them and showed them and I'm like, yeah, we got to talk because this is the, the new rule, right? It says longer. So, uh, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I believe the rule is that the bar is uh, mm -hmm. the max bar is 15 inches from the center line of the axle. Correct. That, that's correct. Yeah. And the okay. original rule was about 13. So, um, the, the wheelie bar that Troy sells falls within pretty much any rule. And I've been, I'm running a longer bar right now and it's not making the car much faster. It's not, it's not a huge benefit. I think once you get a certain length bar, uh, and you get the stability out of a fairly long bar. When you make it really long, like 15 inch, I don't think there's much more to gain. So the people that do have, I think it's like 11.9 inch or something, the standard vanishing point bar. I'm running a longer yeah. bar and I'm not seeing much more stability difference. So, you know, before you go out and try and find 15 inch bars, uh, I don't, I'm not seeing a huge difference in it right now. Troy's bar is long enough to add a lot of stability. I'm just pushing to the edge of the rule to see if there's any value to it. So we're not quite sure yet. Yeah, and I know every time I remember when when I, you know, back in the day, two and a half years ago, you know, I went to these eight inch bars and they were just the bee's knees and I made them work. And then I had this uh, this idea to, to, to try a longer bar um, and I did and it was um, the car felt a little bit um, a little bit easier to manage off the line and it was definitely just a different driving style. The car did, it had different characteristics with the longer bar um, and they were good characteristics. So if that is even further enhanced by, by you know, this 15 inch uh, uh, rule, that would be really cool. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so coming soon, Desert Hobbies uh, in, uh, you said Chandler, Arizona? That's correct. Chandler, Arizona will have, uh, uh, we'll be offering uh, a, a variety of, of packaging for the bullet chassis, whether you want AE or you want low C, no matter how far you want the car to go uh, as far as assembly. Um, and that sounds like a pretty, pretty cool deal for Mark. And I'm, I'm behind him 100%. I have, a, I have the phone number real quick. I'm, I just searched Desert Hobbies here on Google. And the phone number, if you guys want to get in contact with them, is uh, 602-881-5144. Uh, the, the manager that I've been dealing with a lot is named is Jarrell and, uh, we're going to have all that stuff on the website soon. But if you, if you want to place an order right away, um, you can call him and we'll get you taken care of. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention too, is, um, the racing that happened today, uh, desert hobbies was a big part of that, but another, another guy that was a really big part of it and is a big part of, uh, kind of growing, uh, Arizona racing here is, uh, uh, Jay Conway, and he runs the AZ Grudge site uh, on Facebook, and he does races up north. So it's it's a group effort between Jay Conway and, and Desert Hobbies to put on some uh, kind of a, a new group of racing for 2021 and beyond. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to those guys. And the, the, today was awesome. Um, and I'm looking forward to the next races. They're going to they're gonna do some really good things. Awesome. Um so again, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that number is 602-881-5144? Correct. 602-881-5144. Desert Hobbies, De uh, Dr. Jarrell. Awesome. Okay. Well, Mark, hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. Um, you will, I hope, go down in history as our very first guest on our solo show. 
um, which kind of, again, like I said from the get-go, that, that you know, kind of makes it not a solo show because uh, this is the kind of thing I want to do uh, every week or every other week, depending on how I want to format the show uh, moving forward to have, uh, you know, people that are that are making these these products happen and, uh, you know, the work behind the, the, the scenes um, and, you know, um, also, you know, fellow, uh, fellow uh, big heavy hitters across uh, the nation and, and get their feedback on what's working for them in their neck of the woods. So I think it's going to be a good platform that everybody's going to benefit from. And, you know, my page so far has been just nothing but, rainbows and butterflies mark um <laughs> and i just want to say thank you for reaching out the uh the way you did uh, a couple months back and um and and doing everything you did for me and uh i'm gonna see if i can uh go out to a track near you and 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 and, and take some videotape of, of what mark's done so um thank you very much mark for having us on the phone or uh on being on the show tonight um and uh, I hope to talk to you soon. I'm sure I'll probably talk to you during the week sometime. And uh, just in case I don't, uh, have a merry, merry Christmas, man. Hey, I, uh, uh, I just wanted to say I've, I've followed you for a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for uh, what you can do. And, you know, in, in Vegas last year, the, uh, you know, you were the, the, the producer of the ghost car that took me out of that race. And uh, uh, I have a lot of respect for the guy that built that car, right? I mean, that was a fast, fast car. So I was excited to know that you're running a bullet car. I uh, have a lot of respect for what you can do. And uh, it's an honor to be the first guest on your show. So thanks for having me. All right, Mark, that's very sweet, man. That means a lot to me. It means the world to me. When I get feedback from like that, from other, other, other big, big guys in the in the industry, it really it just it melts me, man. From you know the big guys in the industry actually to the to, to the littlest guy just building his first car. When I get feedback like that, it's really awesome. So uh, this is a start of a wonderful partnership, um, a, a wonderful weapon, uh, the bullet. You saw the car. You met the man. Um, thanks a lot, Mark. Take care, man. Happy holidays. Right. Happy holidays. Have a good night. Okay, so, um, you know, this is a, a vehicle you can get. I know I keep messing with the pencil. I'm, I do that. I'm a fixer. Um, and it wouldn't be a, a show by Dan Judd if I didn't throw at least one Zen across the room and pop the new one. Um, is Mark still on there? He's like, what am I yeah. doing? <laughs> Mark's a really cool cat. Um, Mark is is much like uh, uh, Steve Villanueva of R1 and Paul Peterson of Shark RC Bodies. You're thinking about the same thing, and you're and you're um, you know you bring you know your ideas from one side, and they have their ideas, and they meld perfectly. Did it did it quit the the live show? No, no, it didn't quit the live. Okay. Um, uh, you know, and, and you meld those ideas together, that's when even faster stuff blossoms. So um, I don't just want to run people's products because I believe in it and then back up the shows and call myself a success sponsor. I want to be involved with every little nut and bolt. Um, there's as many companies that will have me and, and take the value of anything that I might have to add. Um, and uh, um, I'm just going to push the car back. You can say that. I mean, this is not like a live studio <laughs> broadcasting of Scrooge on CBS, you know? <laughs> I was the so, um, again, I want to thank uh, Paul Peterson, my my Shark RC Body uh, sponsor. Um, sponsor. Been with him. Everybody knows I'm a shark guy. Um, Paul hasn't uh, uh, said it yet, um, hasn't released it yet, but I feel confident in our relationship enough and our friendship enough um, that I can go ahead and say that me and Paul have talked in a lot of what is going to get new bodies for you guys um, and some newer stuff that nobody's thinking about um, is going to be able to take some of the burden off of Paul of doing a lot of the question answering and stuff. So um, I have been made by Paul uh, exclusively the, um, uh, the team manager for Shark RC Bodies. So if anybody, you know, especially anybody on my, on my family, uh, uh, you know, the family, my shark family that I have, if there's anything that anybody needs at all, I want to see everybody do good. Um, so thank you, Paul Peterson, for believing in me the same way I believe in you. Um, thank you to uh, Milo Carvalho of Flash Packs, Troy of Vanishing Point, um, Ramez of Our Designs, uh, Josh Nicholson, which Josh, I can't believe this. I have the thing. You're, he's got this tire prep 
that he sent me. You got to reach out. I I'll, I'm gonna make a post. We had it right here 20 minutes before the show, and we picked it up and we took it off the table so it wouldn't knock over to move the table. And now we don't know where it is. So um, Josh Nicholson, he uh, he made this tire mm -hmm. prep for me, uh, and in it you can get it too. Um, uh, to uh, Dennis Coleman for making me a copy of all uh, the shows that I was part of that I worked so hard on so I wouldn't be locked out of them. Um, and uh, in, in uh, tonight's guest, Mark Vine, thank you so much, Mark, for coming on. Thank you for believing in me, and uh, I believe in you the same way. And I'm hoping that we can just uh, take the world with these things because these things are just like a, like a Ginzu Ninja razor blade coming at you. Um, I was just the smoothness and the um the reactions and stuff out of this car is just so far past what i'm i'm used to running with you know slopping all the wheels and it's just really really precision machine so i really love the car um i want to give a shout out to all my teammates um on the first show uh cody offenbacker um uh jasmine hernandez her father jesse um uh, Kid Sims, uh, Josh Jones, uh, just all my all my teammates. If I'm forgetting somebody, leave me out. Throw an egg at me later. I I, I love all you guys. My head's going around. It's it's. Uh, I'm trying to get used to being back on camera. Um, trying to remind myself to keep eye contact. Um, plus, I got Seriously. an early Christmas tonight. Right now, as soon as we end the show with Thank my daughters you. while she's here in town. So, um, big shout out to uh, Desert Hobbies for what they're doing with the with the bullet chassis. Um, again, you can reach them at 602-881-5144 to schedule your bullet chassis build. Um, Jake's Performance Hobbies, Roner Park, California, 707-586-3374. Um, no, 3375. What am I saying? I've been saying that for, for, for 30 years. 707-586-3375 in Roner Park, California, Jake's Performance Hobbies, uh, Nice little hobby shop that's got a lot of stuff, and not just drag stuff. I mean, they got he's got uh, you know techno stuff and a huge selection of bodies, and they do custom work there. They do repairs there, um, tires, crawling central. He's got so much crawling stuff, it's not even funny. So, um, All Star, thank you, Josh. Um, All Star tire prep from Josh Nicholson is what uh, what I'm playing with right now. Um, and if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. Like I said, I I, uh, I wanted to do the show for you guys a couple of weeks ago, and I thought I would, and I didn't take into consideration the amount of parts I was ordering from all the different vendors, and I, you know, I, I jumped through that alley unscathed, and then right at the end of the alley, there was this big ten foot tall sinister no idler gear standing in my way, so I couldn't put any of this together. So. Um, now that I got it in there, I was like, okay, I, I can't do a show until I have the new car together. I just, there's something in me. I don't know what it was. Um, I know a guy, a lot of you guys out there would just like to rap and, and talk and stuff. Um, but I wanted to have, uh, I wanted to have some, some finishing product uh, or some final product out on the table. Um, and this thing should be painted and scaled and weighed and geared and, and be tested here in the next couple days. Cause I have 16 days off for Christmas. So yeah. I have nothing better to do with my life right now. Than to sharpen that blade. Um, so, worth the wait. Yes, it was. Good things uh, come to those who wait. So, what's up, Rick Turner? Jasmine's watching. What's up, Jasmine? Um, Jasmine's a young lady that uh, my, my daughter actually looks up to down in Texas. Remember Racing Divas? Mm -hmm. She's got their shirt. And I know that she's, she's going to be coming out to Vegas with me. And who do you want to meet? You want to meet Jasmine? Yeah, <laughs> Jasmine. She's a fan. So, um, and her father, uh, her father uh, races. Uh, I think believe they do some racing with the RCRDR or the RCDRL down in Texas. Um, so very very cool um, to be to be on a, on the same team with those guys. Um, and we're kind of trying to spread out here and there, and you know, and try and get some some uh, you know. Um, cover some some ground in 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 all corners of the united states so um let's see what else we got they want to see me drive it oh they want to see me drive it? no that ain't happening right now this thing ain't gonna hit the ground without a body on it Sorry, uh it needs downforce so downforce, um, you heard it here. i will i will i will i will give you this much though 
Hey. 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 I'll be running the zero in Vegas. This is the body I want to run in Vegas. It's the zero. Not one, but zero. Shark bodies, baby. Oh, where is it? What color? Uh, I don't know. I got some really funky, crazy paint jobs coming uh, coming up right now with uh, with with Mark Samuelson. I actually got to get a hold of Mark. Um, if you need some RC bodies painted, you want some really really nice work, um, get a hold of uh, Mark Mark Samuelson. Um, he does some really really nice airbrush work. I am actually I got I got a shark body there right now. Um, got to catch up with him, see and see exactly when uh, when that's going to be done. Um, and uh, this body here would probably just be a solid, maybe a white with a with a black hood. That's kind of my signature uh, body. Do um, green. But I can't do green. Why? What's up? What's up, Sky? Sky's yeah, he's one of our shark guys. Um, Biggie Paul. Why can't you do green? There's a guy that's known for green out there. Tyler, he's a green guy. We'll give him all the green. I like green, but that's not my color. Tyler can pick another color. Okay. I got it. I got some green stuff up there. Hey, on the bottom <laughs> of your hat is green. It is. It is. Do you want to wear my hat? Do it's, you know it's like it's wait. It's what time is it? Six oh two. Six oh two. Okay. So Bye. we're gonna sign. We're gonna sign off, everybody. Um, Merry Christmas and and Happy Holidays and uh, you know God bless everybody. God bless America. God bless all the nurses and frontline workers, the police officers, the men and women in law enforcement. Uh, yeah, I don't know. see, I'm trying to get used to the camera again. Um, Look at it. And uh, thank you for joining me for episode one um, of uh, Shark Frenzy, RC Shark Frenzy. And uh, we will see you next week, and I will be announcing the time during the week. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And shake and bake.